Hey friends, welcome back on the RCA channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the valuation of the shares. As you know, this part covered under the study note number 5 of the CFR, that is paper number 17 of the CMA final. And one more thing guys, we have already uploaded the videos on the government accounting, financial instrument and non-banking financial companies. To watch that video, you are required to click on iCard button. Link of that videos are provided into description box. Please go into description box and find that link and watch that video. I suggest you to watch that video because your clarity of the chapters are also become the clear so guys before starting the video of the share valuation please download the notes of this part link of such notes are provided into description box please go on that link and download the notes for your reference or revision purpose so friends in this video we are going to discuss the purpose of share valuation factors affecting the valuation of the shares and method of the valuation of shares there are three methods of the valuation of shares but in this video we are going to discuss the only one method of the valuation of the shares and remaining two methods so we are work on the second part of the video of the share valuation so guys all about three part are considered as a theoretical part of the share valuation so we are try to cover the theoretical part on initial level and after the covering of the all theory part of the share valuation we are also try to provide the practical videos on this part so guys stay connected stay tuned with the rca channel and also share this valuable information with your friends so they are also get the benefit from these videos so guys now we are start our main portion of the share valuation see friends there is one question in your mind why share valuation is so important so guys when any company or any investor invest into the any shares of the company then he means that person or that company are try to find out the actual value of that shares and so that that person or that company are negotiate with that company and try to acquire the share at a particular price so that share valuation play an important role for the investors of the various background like individual investor mutual fund investor nbfc non-banking financial companies investors mutual fund house investors so these are the various investors who play an important role into the share market so guys share valuation is a very important for the investor this chapter we need to learn from point of view of the investor so that we are very easy to understand the concept of this chapter now friends there are several reasons due to which the importance of the share valuation are rapidly increased so there are too many company in india and that all companies are not listed on the recognized stock exchange like national stock exchange or bombay stock exchange so so we need to find out the share value of that unlisted company and for finding the value of the share of that unlisted company in that case we need to follow the respective method to find out the value of the shares so this is the first reason now second reason acquiring the block of the share which may or may not give holder the controlling interest into the company so guys when any one company buy the shares of the another company like recently reliance industries buy the shares of the alok industries that is a textile industry and reliance industry bought 37.7 percent shares means 37.7 percent of the total shares of alok industries so this is called as a block deal so from this example you got the meaning of block deal block deal means the bought share of any other company in large number of scale this is called as block deal and when block deal are happen into the share market so investor company try to find out the actual value or real value of the shares so that they are bought the share at a reasonable price so this is the reason behind the valuation of shares so this block deal are happen into the unlisted company as well so in case of the un unlisted company there are also valuation part are come into exist to know the real value of the shares and in case of the listed share share value is available but this share price may be in overbought zone or underbought zone so valuation of the share play an important role in the investing activity next 
Friends, we know that many companies are offered share to their employee at a price less than the current market price. When such employee lose services, in that case, valuation part will come into role. So, you know that employee stock option is an option given by employer to employee like DMART owner Radha Kishan Damani issue the ESOPs to their employees when their company issue the public offer. So while they are issue the shares to general public then there is a different price and that is relatively high and when they are issue the shares to their employee then the share price of such shares are relatively very low because employee employee relationship exists so due to this there is a price differentiation between the same shares of the company next when merger between the two companies are proposed or acquisition by one listed company of another listed company will propose in that case valuation part will come into exist so valuation play an important role when any any one company acquire the shares of another company or that both companies are merged into each other in this case part of the valuation are come into exist and we need to do the valuation of the shares to arrive at a reasonable price of the both companies shares next when any company seek loan against the security of its own share in that case valuation of the shares are come into existence so this is the purpose or reason why share valuation is so important in the corporate world so guys in this case financial companies actually want to know the real value of the shares to grant financial assistance to the companies next when preference shares are converted into the equity share in this case valuation are play an very important role when preference shares are converted into the equity share in this case valuation play an important role suppose mr a hold 10000 preference share at 100 rupees per shares then his total investment is of 10 lakh rupees in that particular company then for knowing the real value of the equity share we need to do share valuation suppose current market price price is 190 per share and intrinsic value of the share is 250 per share and it is agreed to conversion of such shares are carried on intrinsic value so in this case we are easily carried out new number of the shares by dividing the intrinsic value of the shares to the total investment of 10 lakh rupees so new number of the equity shares are 10 lakh divided by 250 that is intrinsic value per share and new number of equity shares are 4000 equity share that should be issue on the conversion of the preference shares into the equity shares so these are the several reason for the valuation of shares now we try to understand the various factors of the valuation of shares first factor is nature of the industry to which company belong in india as well as global market there are various industries that are exist and some of them are automobile industry pharma industry oil and natural gas industry fmcg means fast moving consumer goods like like dmart future retail etc financial industries next company's past performance is also a critical factor of the valuation of shares suppose a company make a profit continuously from the previous five years in this case reserve and surplus of that company are increased whereas in case of the company b is book loss since last three year in this case reserve and surplus of that company are decreased so past performance of company is also play an important role while we making the valuation of shares next is economic condition of the country this is also important aspect while making the valuation of shares because when economy of any country are strong it means demand in that economy is very high and gradually if demand is high then the production or manufacturing of any particular company is very high so while making the investment in any company then we need to find out the demand of the product manufactured by such company like Alok industry is a textile industry and nowadays COVID-19 situation is in India or globally. So Alok industry are now manufacturing the P 
पीपी किट दैट इज अ वेरी डिमांडेड प्रोडक्ट नाउ अ डेज इन टू द मार्केट डोमेस्टिकली और इंटरनेशनली नाउ वाइल वी फोरकास्ट द सेल्स ऑफ द कंपनी वी एनालाइज द पास डेटा ऑफ द डिमांड एंड सप्लाय एंड बेस ऑन दिस वी ट्राई टू फोरकास्ट द फ्यूचर डेटा फॉर द वैल्युएशन पर्पजेस सो नेक्स्ट इज पॉलिटिकल फैक्टर्स इज अ बिग्गेस्ट फैक्टर ऑफ द वैल्युएशन ऑफ शेयर्स डेमोक्रेटिक कंट्री लाइक इंडिया नीड अ कॉन्स्टंट गवर्नमेंट बिकॉज in any nation ruling party is in majority in that country then we simply said that decision making power will be improve in this situation next part is demand and supply of the shares value of the listed shares are depend upon the demand and supply of the secondary market next is income yielding capacity of an entity this is also important factor in the valuation of the shares while we valuing the shares we try to forecast the future income of the companies and depends on the future income we try to find out estimate share price of an entity now while we make a valuation of the shares valuer should be consider the sufficient asset over its liability so guys if any company so guys if any company's balance sheet represent that the liability side is greater than the asset size so in this case investor are not interested to take over such company but where the asset is greater than the liability of such company in this case investor are aggressively invest in that particular company so next is proportion of the liability and capital it represent the owner's capital over the outside liability alternatively it is said as net worth of the company should be greater than outside liability and last factor of the valuation of the shares is other related shares this is also called as peer comparison so peer comparison means suppose if the glenmark limited glenmark limited is belongs from the pharmaceutical industry so for this company there are too much peer comparison like dr reddy's ajanta pharma etc this is the peer comparison now we are going to understand the methods of the share valuation there are three methods of the share valuation and those methods are asset backing or intrinsic value method yield basis or earning capacity method fair value or dual method these are three methods in this video we are try to understand the asset backing method or intrinsic valuation method in this method we try to find out the real asset value of the companies and based on that we try to find out the share value of that company this method may be depend upon going concern basis or break up value basis under going concern basis usefulness of the asset shall be consider while arriving at the value of shares and under break up value basis we shall consider the realizable value of the asset of the company now we go through the some step which should be follow while calculating the value of the shares under the asset backing method or intrinsic value of the share firstly we should ascertain the market value of the fixed asset and current asset after ascertaining the market value of the fixed asset and current asset we compute the value of the goodwill as per required method there are four method of the valuation of goodwill once we ascertain the value of the fixed asset and current asset and goodwill we should calculate the market value of the non trading asset that is investment made by the companies now we make the addition of market value of the fixed asset and current asset value of the goodwill and market value of the non trading asset from this addition we should deduct the sum item and that items are fictitious asset and fictitious asset includes preliminary expenses discount on issue of the shares and debenture debit balance of profit and loss and any other like assets after deducting the component of the fictitious asset we should be deduct the amount of the current liability amount of the debenture with the arrear interest and preference share capital with the arrear interest after making the addition and deduction as discuss above we are reached at net asset and funds available to equity shareholders so friends this is the 
ऑल थेरी पार्ट ऑफ द वैल्यूएशन ऑफ द शेयर स्टिल टू मेथड्स आर पेंडिंग फ्रॉम माई साइट एंड दैट मेथड्स आर कवर इन टू द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द शेयर वैल्यूएशन वीडियो सो प्लीज स्टे कनेक्टेड स्टे ट्यून विथ अस टू वॉच सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो बट फ्रेंड्स बिफोर दैट वीडियो वी आर try to cover all practical question given in the model under this method which method asset backing method or intrinsic value method so friends thank you for watching video stay connected stay tuned keep learning keep growing thank you friends